Hey friends, it's Jenny Williams. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a weekend vlog with you where Matt and I hang out around the house, make a healthy salad, and then go for an awesome hike. To go along with lunch, I'm making some creamy homemade hummus. One trick to making your hummus a lot creamier is to boil the chickpeas before you blend them with the other ingredients. This gets them super soft and makes the hummus ultra smooth and creamy just like at your traditional Greek restaurants. Next you'll need the juice of one to two lemons, about a fourth cup, and one large garlic clove. Then to a food processor, add your lemon juice and the chopped up garlic, along with about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then blend that together and let all the flavors marinate for like 10 minutes or so. While that's marinating, you can get your tahini ready. You just need about a half cup. And y'all, I've been loving this brand lately. It's the Zayad brand, and I got it at Harris Teeter in the Asian section. And it is so perfect. It's one of the best tahinis out there, in my opinion. Then add in the tahini and blend until creamy. Then with the motor running, add in two tablespoons of really cold ice water. And finally, add in the cooked chickpeas and a little bit of cumin and blend that until smooth. And while this is all blending, go ahead and add in a little bit of olive oil into the shoot. And at this stage, I do like to give it a taste test to make sure all the flavor ratios are on point. You can get all the recipes in today's video by heading to the description box below. Next up, I'm making a cilantro jalapeno sauce. All you need to do is add some hemp seeds, some packed cilantro, jalapeno, garlic powder, salt, and water to a blender and blend until smooth and creamy, and it is delicious. I love this on top of Buddha bowls, but I also really love this with some baked potato. It's delicious. Matt and I are making some delicious Buddha bowls today. They're basically just big salads where you have a green and a grain, as well as lots of other healthy toppings. We have some red quinoa, some butternut squash, and some cauliflower that I prepped the night before. One secret to eating healthy more often is to have fruits and vegetables and you know your legumes and grains already prepped for the week. If you just do some meal prep on Sunday evening, you know, pop in a podcast, make it fun, and just go to town chopping vegetables, you'll have them available and you're more likely to pick them and make better choices. I just roasted some cauliflower and butternut squash on a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And Matt just came in from the garden with some freshly picked rainbow chard. It looks fantastic. So he used that for his salad and added quinoa and red pepper, carrots, cucumbers, red cabbage, some of the homemade hummus that we made in the morning, and some of the cilantro jalapeno sauce. And Matt's topping it off with his favorite dressing by Brienne's. It's some like vinaigrette, but I did find out it's vegan, so. Brianne's does have a vegan dressing. For my bowl, I'm doing a kale base with farro, red cabbage, some of the roasted veggies we made earlier, chopped up apple, watermelon radish, some walnuts, and the cilantro jalapeno sauce. Oh yeah, and some pomegranate seeds. Gotta have those. After lunch, we packed our bags and then went for a hike. We checked out a place we've never been before. 